All right, this video is to help those that are struggling with number eight on the assignment. It's about using the board foot SX measure table on the square, on the framing square. And uh, just remember as a review what a board foot is. A board foot is a volume equivalent of, um, of 144 cubic inches. And we kind of set it, you know, kind of if you're trying to think about it, you could think about it as a volume, a plank that would be equal to like one inch in thickness, 12 inches wide, and 12 inches long, which would give you a length times width times thickness in this case, which would equal one times 12 times 12, and that's where you get your 144 inches cubed. So, right, we'll just say inches cubed. All right, so that's a little review. Not that it has to be a board of this exact shape, but the volume would equal 144 cubic inches. So now going on to question number A, uh, letter A, sorry. It says, what is the volume of a board that is one inch by nine inches by 12 feet, not inches, okay? So now you could simply calculate this um, with a calculator or on a piece of paper, and that's 100% fine, and that's how most of us would do it. The, ideas that I'm teaching this square is to remember that this square was invented before the calculator, so it was a calculator for the carpenter, right? So they would learn how to use it quite well to speed up their time. Uh, we know that we could simply find out how many cubic inches are in this board and then divide it by 144 cubic inches. So we could go 1 times 9 times uh, 12 feet would be 144 uh, inches. So now we're all in inches. And we could do that and we would get an answer, volume equals. Now, when we get that answer, remember that's the total cubic inches of that material. So now we have to divide that by 144 inches cubed per board foot. So we'd be taking our answer divided by 144. Well, as you can see, we're multiplying by 144 to divide by 144. So we can just cross that off. And we're going to end up that board feet simply equals 9 times 1. So 9, right? So the reason behind question number one and trying to understand the square is all of the columns, or sorry, yes, columns, represent the width of the piece. So we would be looking for, if we were trying to navigate this square, we would say, well, we have a nine inch wide board. So we're gonna look under the nine, okay? Under the nine, now we're gonna try to line that up to the length of the board. But as you'll notice, they give you lengths of a board of eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, and they skip out 12. That's because the carpenter would know that when a board is 12 feet long, like we just calculated, the board feet is simply gonna measure, is gonna equal the width of the board. So they leave that out because they would know that simply, if you had a board one inch by nine inches by 12 feet, it's simply nine board feet because the 12 cancels itself off. That answers your question. Okay, question number B, letter B. So we'll try to just use the square now because I think it's obvious you could do the volume calculation. So we have four pieces, I was right, four at, uh, two inches by eight inches by nine feet, okay? So now the idea is this is gonna have every single answer on it, but by some, a little bit of intuitiveness, we can get this. So first of all, our plate is, our plank is eight inches wide. So we'll look under the eight, and our plank is nine feet long. So we're going to go under the 12, those are all our lengths. We're gonna line up nine, to eight, and we get that it is six. So we're eight feet, or sorry, eight inches wide, and nine feet long line up, it's six. So a plank that was um, one inch wide, sorry, one inch in thickness by eight inches by nine feet would equal six board feet, okay? And now by a simple bit of intuitiveness, we can say, well, if it's two inches in thickness, we're just gonna multiply that by two, so we're gonna get 12 board feet, and then we have four pieces, so we're gonna multiply that by four. So this will equal 48 board feet for B, all right? So uh, then we get to C. C says that we have six pieces, six at, uh, one by 10 inches wide by 16 feet long, all right? Now, what you're gonna find is, okay, we're gonna look at the square, Yes, we can go 10 inches wide, a 10 inch wide board, so we use the 10 inch column here. And then we're gonna try to go across to find the length under the 12, but as you see, there is no 16. Well, again, being intuitive, we can simply use eight to multiply it by two. So a 10 inch board, 
10 inch wide board that is eight feet long is six eight. So if you had a one by 10 by eight foot long, that would equal six, and remember that's eight twelfths board feet, right? So that's what we'd have. Now, so to make this video not too long, uh, now you have to think to yourself, well, I have to multiply that by two because it's 16 feet long, not eight. And then I'm gonna have to multiply that by six planks because it's six planks that you have, right? So that would be your answer there. And hopefully that's good enough for you. And then D, if I can just look at D, three, D was three pieces at one and a half inches by 13 inches by 14 feet, I'm assuming. Okay, so now let's see how close we can get here. So 13 inches wide, okay, so 13 inches wide, 14 feet long, we can get that. So if we had a plank that is one inch wide by 13, sorry, one inch thick by 13 inches wide, looking under 13, lining it up to the 14 feet long, we'd have, sorry, by 14 feet long, we would equal, uh, when it's up again, 15, uh, and two twelfths, so 15 and two twelfths board feet, okay? Now, we just have to think to ourselves, we also have another another plank that's a half of this 13 times 14 feet long. So we're just gonna have to find half of this, so divide this by two, and then add it to this original, right? And then if we add those two together, and then when we're all done, we have to realize that we have three of those because we had three at. So if you do all that math, you'll get it. But the idea is that you simply use the columns um, as the widths of the board, and then you look under the 12 to use for lengths of the board because the 12 column becomes useless in a calculation because if it was uh, 12, it would simply be that number of board feet. And then you just line it up just like any old chart and be a little bit intuitive about it, and you can get any board foot measure. Again, you don't have a calculator back then, so you would have to do all the work on, on a piece of two by four, most likely. All right, thanks for watching.